production is in full swing at Megri Cannery in the south of Armenia. These fruit preserves are destined for buyers in the United States, Canada and Russia. But just five years ago, this company was on the verge of closing. Food safety standards had changed, and company director Grigorian Grisha had to invest in new equipment to keep in business. Generally in Armenia, getting a loan is a rather labor-consuming, lengthy and difficult process. The banks will never provide a loan unless they're convinced 100% of the repayment of the money. And it's particularly difficult to convince them when your business is in a remote town like Megri on the Iranian border. Located 400 kilometers away from the capital, over mountain roads that are impassable in winter, production here is expensive, as everything except the fruit has to be imported from the capital. But Gregorian found an investor called Frida, who's particularly interested in the country's most remote regions. In fact, Frida is an equity fund like no other. Although it aims to build more profitable companies, its primary goal is unexpected. The main mission of Freda is poverty reduction and alleviation. We want to develop our companies to enlarge their business, to make it more profitable from one side. And also we want to help our farmers that are working in our rural areas to produce more, to sell more, to earn more, to overcome the poverty issues. To do this, Frida has invested more than 5 million US dollars in 10 companies that have the potential to develop rural areas and to decrease poverty. Using funds from the Armenian government and the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, Frida becomes a shareholder, offering a package of technical assistance like improved financial management and international food safety certification. In Megri Canary, we increased for the production level of that company more than five times. We increased the export volumes of that company up to 80% of the total production. More than that, the investment has had a major impact on the people. Employment in the cannery has doubled, ensuring jobs for people who had always struggled to find work in this remote region. For employee Lusik Antonian, who started working here five months ago, the cannery is a lifeline. A lot has changed in my life. I hadn't worked for 21 years. We had very little to live on, and it was very difficult. Now I can already take care of my needs. Outside of the cannery walls, the impact is even bigger. The cannery has guaranteed that it will buy all fruit that farmers want to sell. Farmer Zora Zagomanyan says that in the past, traders would only take the best of his figs, and about 40% would be left to rot. Now he can sell all of his figs to the cannery and is confidently planting new trees. Aram Makritian is another of the 120 farmers in the area that now regularly supplies the cannery. My life has improved. What has changed? I grow the harvest. It doesn't spoil. I don't throw it away. It becomes money, and we live off that money and use it to meet our needs. So the expansion of the cannery has been very beneficial to everyone. And this is happening across the country. This fruit juice company now sources five times more from the local farmers since Freda's investment. And it has increased its turnover by more than two million US dollars. In the coming year, the Freda team hopes to double their impact by raising their investment capital to 10 million US dollars. By investing in 10 more companies, they hope to reduce poverty across Armenia.